It's a religion known for peace and inclusivity, but divisions and tensions are stirring amongst the Sikhs of Britain. This temple, or Gurdwara, in the English Midlands, was occupied by 55 Sikh men, determined to stop a wedding between a Sikh and a Hindu. Eventually, armed police surrounded the temple and arrested these men. Two have since been charged. There have been many similar incidents across England in recent years. Deepa was amongst the 55, and he says he'll carry on disrupting weddings at those temples which allow mixed-faith couples to perform the Sikh marriage ceremony, or Anand Karaj. We're not against any interfaith wedding, out-of-faith wedding, however you want to call it, because people have gone to registry office and, and they can do that. But in a religious building, you have to understand the religious principles and the guidelines. So where does this leave couples like Nav and Robin? He's Sikh, she's not. They'd like to marry in a Sikh temple, but worry their ceremony will be disrupted. Some people associate uh, the beard and the turban with religious fundamentalism. I think this isn't the, the correct way of uh, doing or going about these protests. Uh, what would be good is an open dialogue. Take off your balaclavas, um, sit down with the community, and let's all find common ground. Sikhs have long been seen as a successful community in Britain, hard-working, outward-looking. But these divisions within the Sikh community come at a time when questions of integration and identity are so sensitive here in Britain and across the Western world. At this temple, also in the Midlands, Gary has presided over many mixed-faith weddings, but regrets that with the threat of protests, this may not be possible in the future. The spirit of Sikhism is one of tolerance and love towards others, and a view that all religions are paths to the one divine. And by excluding people, then you're sort of contradicting your own ideology, your own beliefs, uh, and that's, uh, that's sad, really. The Sikh Council, the largest body of British Sikhs, has ruled that temples should not stage mixed-faith weddings, but has also called for an end to protests, leaving young Sikhs struggling to reconcile their faith, their Britishness and their own emotions. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera in the English Midlands.